to the state of our schools now. And while you're getting ready to go back to class, well, so are your kids schools and many are desperately trying to hire staff as part of a nationwide shortage. News 12's Veronica Jean Seltzer explains how it's affecting your child's school. Back to school. It is a scramble is busy for Briarcliff Manor Superintendent James Cation. Yes, it is. And one of the busiest parts is hiring. As we hit the end of the summer, we were looking to fill literally dozens of positions. Most schools are. We have shortage areas that are very concerning to us. From big districts like Yonkers. Foreign language. There are no foreign language anywhere to be found. To smaller districts like Briarcliff. It is a very real and persistent problem, and it's only, in my opinion, going to get worse. Executive Vice President of the State Teachers Union, Jolene DeBrango, says it started pre-pandemic. The teacher retirement system projected about 180,000 teachers could retire in the next 10 years. And enrollment in new teacher prep programs is down 50% since 2009. That's another reason that we know that we're kind of in a crisis situation. It's gotten worse since the pandemic. Nationwide, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, roughly 300,000 educators and staff left the field in the past two years. There's a great deal of competition for the talent that's out there, and there's a winnowing pool. DeBrango says there's a number of reasons, including lately so many more stresses and responsibilities post-pandemic. Bottom line, Teachers will stay in the profession and teachers will be attracted to the profession if we provide a respectful um, environment for them. She says that includes listening to them and giving them the tools they need to do their jobs well. Some districts in the state are also offering incentives like paying more if you stay for a certain period of time. We'll be in a good situation and we're fortunate enough to be able to be competitive with regard to salaries and benefits and those kinds of things. Not every, not every region, not every school district has that luxury. An even bigger issue, Cation says. Overall, he feels lucky in Briarcliff. It could be much worse. Veronica Jean Seltzer, News 12. And long term, DeBrango says the teachers union is working with the state education department to keep standards high while also making it simpler to become certified. She says there are also programs showing success that encourage students to become teachers and allow teachers in training to receive a salary and train longer, leaving them more confident and better able to stick with the profession.